stand. Amen. Let's all stand. Let's just welcome the Lord into his house. This is his house. My Heavenly Father, we just come to you tonight in the name of Jesus. We ask you tonight, Lord God, that you would just minister and move, Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord God. Just touch every single heart, touch every single life, Lord. And God, we ask you tonight, Lord, that before we leave this house tonight, God, let us leave closer to you, God, stronger in you, Lord. We give you all the praise and all the glory tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody said, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Key of G, let's sing Heaven's Jubilee. Amen. Praise God. Well, some of the morning we shall see if Jesus had been here.
sometimes it costs us to serve the Lord, but we've got to make up our minds to turn it in our heart or whatever it costs. I'm going to serve you with all of my heart, with all of my life. The Bible says, no man having put his hand in the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Amen. The Bible says, he that endures to the end, the same will be saved. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's sing that song, Learning to Lean. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord.
glad to have everyone with us in service tonight. Amen. And uh, I'm just excited tonight about Bible study. Amen. Only getting through six verses of the 12th chapter, but there's plenty in it. Amen. But uh, just so excited about what God is doing. Amen. Not only in Bible study, but, but in and out of this church. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, uh, I tell you, I, I turned in a prayer request on, on Sunday, I think it was, just an unspoken request. And yesterday, God met that need. Amen. And uh, I just thank the Lord for doing that. Praise the Lord. And for the ravens. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So glad everyone is here in service with us tonight. We do want to go to the Lord in the time of prayer. Uh, of course, Sister Marlene uh, Melrose, they aren't here tonight. Sister Marlene had a procedure done on her today. And uh, she's just really not feeling well. Uh, so let's just hold her up right now. Lift her up in prayer. Uh, Sister Denise, you got a prayer request? Um, my Aunt Joyce's son's daughter is going to have a baby. Yes. Um, she had to do surgery on her today for her kidneys. And she needs prayer. Yes. The whole family needs prayer for strength and everything. Yes, let's remember uh, Kim. Amen. Of course, the, the little baby. Sister Mary? Um, my cousin Sue, uh, her little baby Nathan needs a touch. We're, um, we're going to be here tonight, but the baby became okay. very, very sick, and she was calling me just a little scared. Um, so just remember that, but most of all for her salvation, and also for Carol, um, that God would just give her strength. I was talking to her today, and the you guys know the situation, and um, her daughter is up. Uh, about ready to give birth any day and we don't know what's going to happen with that baby. So we'll just remember that. Remember Randy tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Glenda? Remember Tom tonight. He's not really good, really good. He really needs the Lord to touch him. And uh, also, I have a special one for him for our family. Amen. Sean? You are an all-knowing God. 
And Father, I ask you now, Lord, that you would touch my friend tonight. Touch Sister Marlene. Give her strength. Lift her up, I pray. I pray, Lord, that her temperature stay normal. Pray that any pain or discomfort would leave in the name of Jesus. Pray over her heart. Pray over her blood. Her physical body in the name of Jesus. You created that body. Lord, you're able to take care of it, Lord. Give her strength tonight. In the name of Jesus. And Father, I ask you, Lord, that you would touch. Uh, I ask you, Lord, that you touch Carol tonight. Lord, you know the situation, Lord, with daughter, this child that is on its way. Lord, we ask you, Lord God, that your hands would just be upon that situation. We ask you, Lord, that your will would be done. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, that you would give Carol favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, order her steps. Father, I ask you, Lord, that you touch Brother Randy tonight. Strengthen my brother. In Jesus' name, Lord, and Lord, he's about to be doing some things uh, with his shoulder. I ask you, Lord, that you would just be with him, Lord, and guide those doctors' hands. Father, I ask you, Lord, that you would touch Sister uh, Glenda tonight, God. Just continue to minister to her, Lord, and encourage her and give her the strength, God, that she needs during this time. We pray for Tom, Lord. I ask you, Lord, that you touch him mentally and physically, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Just encourage my brother. Lord, I pray, Lord God, for... Every request, God, that has been turned into you tonight, I, I pray for Pat, Sister Lena's uh, relation, Lord God, that you would just be with her, Lord, as she goes in to have her uh, heart shocked tomorrow, God, back into rhythm, Lord, just be with her, God, let everything go smoothly, and Lord, I pray for Simon, Lord God, that you would just get a hold of his heart and his life, and Lord God, we pray for Janet and Dave in this time, Lord, they're just really going through a lot, God. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that you just touch them with your peace. God, may they just rest upon your word in Jesus' name. We pray for Kim. We pray, Lord, for the little baby, God. I ask you, Lord, that you just be with them, I pray. Lord, just turn this around, Lord, for the glory of God. God, just keep your hands upon that baby's life. In the name of Jesus, Lord. I know, God, that you have got calling. You knew it before it was ever in its mother's womb. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that you just keep your hands upon that little child in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, God, for uh, Nathan. Sister Mary's request, Lord, about the little boy named Nathan, Lord. God, I ask you, Lord, that you just touch him physically. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you give his parents the peace of God as well. Comfort them. Be their strength, Lord. May they realize that you are an ever-present help in times of trouble. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you would also turn this situation around for the glory of God, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, minister healing, minister strength. Lord, we pray for Bailey, Lord. God, touch him physically tonight, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you just touch his heart, God. May he just get back to that place, Lord, where he knows he needs to be in you. God, you've got a plan and a calling on his life, God. And I pray, Lord, that he just puts you first, God. Seek you, Lord, above all else, God. Above education, above a job, Lord. Above this or above that, God. Put you first, God. Because if we'll do that, Lord, everything else will fall into place. Lord, we pray over the unsaved loved ones, God, that we all have. Lord, friends, families, relatives, God that are unsaved, Lord, just get a hold of their hearts, Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost. We pray over the unspoken requests, Lord. You know all about them. You know what we have need of before we ask, Lord, and I ask, Lord, that you just meet those requests. Meet those needs tonight, Lord God. I pray for Daniel. I pray for Christina, Lord God. May they continue to just grow in you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Lord, just continue, Lord, to work in and through our lives, God. In Jesus' name, I pray for, for Bud. I pray, Lord, for Mariah, Lord. Just may they continue to just grow in you. In Jesus' name, we pray. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen, amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Can you see? Mm -hmm. And can only be
nothing but a picture on Facebook a while back and it had the caption, it had a picture of a pretty little kitty cat or a kitten and it said, this is me whenever I go in to pray. Then it had a picture of a lion and then it said, this is me whenever I get done praying. Hey, man, oh, I'm telling you, prayer will do that to you. Can you say, man, it'll, you may go into prayer fearful and doubtful, but man, you get alone with God and you talking with him and all of a sudden you, you come out and you're just like the old folks say you just pray through amen and the righteous the bible says are as bold as a lion amen praise god hallelujah amen i want to make a couple of announcements amen um remember remember sunday morning come expecting a wonderful time in the lord and then sunday night brother sturgis will be here and uh, he and his my wife will be ministering uh, the word to us, amen, and uh, he was supposed to do that uh, last Sunday night, but uh, he had, there was the canyon was closed, and then there was a fire in the canyon, and it was just God's will that he come this week, amen, but but God moved for us on Sunday night, amen, and had a powerful service, but uh, I'm just continuing to look forward to even greater things, can you say amen, amen, so do remember those announcements, and tomorrow, Brother Seth has a birthday. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Mariah's the 26th, right? Huh? She's the daughter who tells you it's the 26th. The 26th? It's Mariah. Okay, Mariah on the 26th. On Sunday. Well, I'm doing Mariah. Hold on. I'm doing Mariah's on Sunday because that's when her dad is going to be here. Amen. All right, Mariah? All right. Amen. Happy birthday. <laughs>
ready for Bible study tonight? Amen. Revelation, last book in the Bible. Revelation chapter number 12. Amen. Exciting study tonight. Amen. Even uh, next week, whenever we finish chapter 12, that's going to be exciting. And then after that, uh, I think it's Revelation 13. We're going to be talking about the mark of the beast. That's going to be a real exciting story. 